my name is Hala. This is my first YouTube video ever. You can tell right now I'm way out of my comfort zone, but let's just ignore it. I am a teacher. I've been teaching for four years as a PYP uh, teacher in different international schools. I know these two years have been crazy for all the teachers and uh, we were trying to use different models for teaching, whether face-to-face -face learning, distance learning, hybrid models, synchronous and asynchronous teaching. One of the challenges I've faced as a teacher is trying to find the most effective online tools that I can use in order to make teaching more fun, more engaging, more student-centered. A lot of teachers around the world are trying to figure out which online tool is the best for this activity or which thinking routine can be used using which online tool. That makes sense. Anyways, so for that reason, I became a tech junkie over the past two years. I decided to start my YouTube channel in order to help all the teachers around the world. So today we are going to sign up together on Padlet. Padlet is a great tool. You can use it for different purposes. You can use it as an exit ticket. You can use it for different thinking routines. So let's start here. First of all, www.padlet.com. We write our emails and then we write the password that we want. We click on, I love this, I'm beautiful. And then we go in. Now you are signed into Padlet. You can choose either to pay or to sign up for free. Of course, we're gonna sign up for free because <laughs> we're not gonna pay. Here you are, welcome to Padlet. So I'm going to take you on a little journey to see what you can do with the very simple options that you have. Uh, the first Padlet is already created for you. So we're gonna now try to see how we can use it uh, and how we can like customize it. The first thing you do is you go to the setting part. You can change the title, you can uh, write, let's say we're gonna write here exit tickets. Uh, we are going to change the description into what was stuck with you today. So you know that like at the end of the session, we do some exit tickets to assess their learning, or simply just for them to reflect on their own learning. Next, you can choose the wallpaper that you want. You have a lot of options that you can use. So we are going to pick donuts because I'm a foodie. You can choose for the author to display their name on the post so that you can know. But in this case, they, the, the kids need to sign in with their email so that you can see their names. You can also choose uh, for them to see each other's uh, post and comment on it which is a great way or great strategy to give feedback. But you can also add reactions if you want them to like the post, put their thumbs up, thumbs down. That's a great way to, for them to be more engaged. And also you can decide whether you want to approve their posts before they post them or not. You can also turn on the filter profanity in order for uh, them to replace bad words with nice emojis, just in case it happens. So now if you want to write uh, on the Padlet, you double click on the red button down, pink actually, you double click on it and then you can write. We're going to do a small example here and show you exit ticket for by asking three questions, which are the following. The first one is going to be name three things you learned today. The second question is going to be list two things you want to learn more about. And the third question is going to be ask a question about today's session. That's it for the writing. Now for the sharing, how are you going to share this link with them, right? So if you are teaching in a class, if you're lucky and you're back to school, the kids can scan the QR code and you can put the QR code in the class for them to scan it on their iPads. But if you are unfortunately unlucky and you're teaching at home just like me, you can always uh, send them the link on uh, Teams or on Classroom, Google Classroom or on Seesaw, or whatever tool or platform you are using. If you're interested to know more about which online tools you can use for uh, creating exit tickets, uh, wait for my other video. We're going to be talking about exit tickets in particular. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button down here if you are really interested in knowing more about how to use online tools for teaching. See you!